Hello guys, uh, in this video, which I consider being the last of the spine module for now, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the exercise I've done before for the arms and legs and see if the module that we have built it's capable of handling a different skeleton and a different structure altogether, a different naming convention, different joint orientation. So for that, I'm I'm gonna use uh, the mixamo that we did for the arms and legs. So the, I, I'm not going to re-import it. This is the mixamo thing. Um, I'm not going to attach the spine to the already existing arms and legs that we saw because I want to dedicate a specific video where we're going to put everything together. And the reason I'm doing that is because in that specific video, I will talk more about spaces and orientation of modules. It's, it, there is more to be said, but not, not yet. So what I'm going to do is going to take the spine that we saw in the previous video. I'm going to make a copy here in the Mixamo folder. I'm going to open the spine. And the first thing I want to do, really turn off all the compile, go into the rig hierarchy, get rid of the rig hierarchy, import the new one, font. Okay. We have the new hierarchy as a preview mesh. We want taunt and yes and in order to to see the bones i need to reload that perfect okay so let me disconnect all of this uh, compile okay nothing is happening the controls are going into whatever i was copying them from so okay great let's analyze the hierarchy a bit so let me see uh, Okay, hips, it looks like it's um, it's the pelvis. Spine one, yeah, it's definitely the first spine joint. Spine two, three, four. Oh, actually, four looks like it's our rib cage. Spine five, I guess it's where the sternum is supposed to be. This could be the end of the rib cage. Maybe we can try the, the neck one as well. Uh, okay. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, let's try that. Let's try and put hips here. Spine one. Spine four. And spine five for now. All the controls, I, I have the names already. So I just need to duplicate this, this node where I filled up, I filled these fields. And then turn off setup and turn into here and connect this to there. Compile. Let's see what happens. Okay, there is a flip, and that's good because this allows us to show something. Um, so this flip, pretty sure that I know what it is, and it's good that it's happening because um, you know every time you see some kind of flipping in joints when you're applying your module, before panicking, it's probably probably related to something like a primary axis or secondary axis for a pull vector or for the Raspline IK solver. Before we go and fix this, let's see if overall everything worked. It looked like from a placement controls point of view, everything has worked. The body is moving the body. Great, the body is in between the pelvis and the first bone. That's great. I have a pelvis control here, which does the pelvis motion. Great. What about the FK controls, let me just grab them right here. Yeah, they, they're rotating and they're connected to the right bones. Nice. And let's switch, let's turn on to compile again. Let's switch on IK controls. Yeah, I can tell that this problem of the flipping is coming very probably from the primary and secondary axis of the IK spline. It's always something like that. So something to keep in mind. So it looks like, apart from the flipping, everything seems like it's behaving properly. By flipping, I mean the bones in here, the bone orientation here. If you look at this gizmo, this red, I don't know if you guys can see, let's make this bigger. This red, um, red, green, and, and Z axis. Have a look at how are them now, probably. This is not the original orientation that we are binded to the skin to, okay? So the solver is basically twisting it 
let's see if that's actually true let's see so x is up z is on the side and y is front right i'm showing you this in order to you know uh, see how can we debug things let me detach the forward solve yes exactly and uh you can see that the second i i detached the forward solved z goes forward y was down and x goes on the side we, this is this is the original bind that you have made you could have made in blender or maya or whatever in this case it was mixamo i still find very weird that the, the axis are orientated uh, are orientated differently i mentioned that in one of my previous mixamo videos in this case the y is pointing down and in this case the x is pointing along the bone interesting um so it's definitely when i connect forward solve this is happening i'm pretty sure it's not the fk because the fk setup doesn't do much to the bones directly so i know i have to look for for the ik spline so overall i'm very satisfied by the fact that it, it worked by simply applying you know this uh, this module it was very simple as you can see even if it, this is a completely different rig so let's have a look and jump into the module spline uh, actually not this one but rather solver spline ik uh, let me detach that again to see the original the original joints so minus it should be minus one the primary axis but it is it is not is is x so what happens if i put here minus one yeah there is no flip anymore okay so this is this is good because it means that this this uh, solver here which i thought it would would have been robust enough to to handle um all the setups it turns out that it's not and the reason why it's not, it's because I'm, I, I'm assuming that the orientation of the joints, it's always uh, this one, all right? It's always this, this one here, which is, it, it is absolutely not right. So we're going to fix this now. So let's say that in my spline IK solver, uh, I primary primary axis and this needs to be a vector and the default let me set the default immediately I want the default to be one zero 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 because the reason why I'm setting one is usually I mean there is no true mathematical reason these are just vectors but uh, most of the setups I've seen uh, have the X oriented along the axis so I think this is a good default so let's just use the primary axis for now. Being this a spline IK solver, we can also plug in a secondary axis, but I don't think it's necessary for this, this specific spine module. I think this is more in, uh, than enough for a biped spine module. So what I'm going to do here, now that we have this new input, I'm simply going to connect this to the primary axis. Excellent. So in here, now in the 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 entry let me turn off auto compile and let's try to move this up so it's a bit more you know it, it, the setup i always want this kind of booleans with setup to be at the very bottom that's what i'm doing so now the primary axis has been exposed that's the word exposed as a as an input for the function solver spline ik which means now if i go into the module spline which is the function above at the high, higher level than the solver spline. Every time I'm using solver spline, which is probably here, one here, oop, no, 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 don't move that. Uh, this, the primary axis has been enabled, and the other one is probably here. This primary axis has been enabled. Now, it's a very good idea to me to expose this attribute in the higher level module as well which means i'm going to do the same exact thing um, primary um, axis let's turn this into a vector let's move this up, 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 up. 
probably a, a little bit of cleaning up would be necessary here, but it makes more sense. But and in this one as well, I want to use my defaults, which are um, one zero zero. So I'm then gonna connect this to here, and even if it's not strictly necessary because we're in setup mode and we're not using, I'm gonna put that there as well. In setup mode, it's gonna skip skip the spline IK so solution altogether. It's just to have a little bit of consistency. When we are in solver spline IK, this attribute you can see this this yellow line doesn't even go in setup mode, which means having this thing connected or disconnected actually does nothing. Um, okay, let me compile that. This is not gonna fix it, of course, because now it's time for us to set it. If I set anything here, what I mean by this being in setup mode, any value here won't make any difference. But you know, just for clarity and consistency. If I turn this to minus one now and compile, this pops back to normal. So again, this 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 uh, this kind of w w every time every time you see some kind of flipping, always try to see if you're using a folder that relies on the orientation of the bones, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, and one one last thing I want to do just to check that everything is working. You can see that when I move the pelvis. Of course the legs are not moving because there is no IK or anything, there is no rig in there now. So I just want to see that the full deformation is coming through properly. So temporarily, this is not something you want to do in the in the, in the spine module. I'm just going to temporarily try to see if I propagate basically this transformation of the pelvis. You see this one? Not just to the pelvis bone, but to the children of the pelvis. Let's see what, what that does. Yes, I just wanted to see that the deformation was, was coming through properly. I just wanted to see that if I ever left um, you know, things behind. You can see that actually uh, propagating to children uh, is, is not the right way. I just wanted to see the legs. but. But it's not the right way because if it propagate to children, it's taking the children of the pelvis, so it's moving the bones above as well. Uh, if, if I compile, you see, it's moving these three bones as well, and uh, from there on, it doesn't because those bones are locked by another control. So again, this thing you should not do it. I uh, this was just me testing for for the legs, okay, just to see if I left it. You know any vertices behind or everything was consistent so let's turn that back off once we're gonna add spaces and you know connect modules together by using plugs uh, we this will behave properly so I hope you find this video uh, interesting this will be it for the spine module so we went through arms spine legs all these setups are really basic this is an extremely basic bipod by the way at the end of this um, first introduction to control rig we're going to end up having a very basic biped which just implements basic functions for limbs arms legs and spine and, and now we're going to move into the head this is not even close to a true production rig which has tons of features such as squash and stretch bendy arms you know whatever you have, foot roll advanced foot rolling or foot planting um you know all sort of stuff that uh, slowly by slowly we're going to touch upon but this should give you a quite a robust bite to start with. Cheers.